Hi guys. So I had a half day today. And what have I been doing? <sighs> I believe the ancestor altar is almost done. I did not light the candles yet. So I only light them when I uh, and am actually going to do a ritual or... Um, you know, do something to honor the ancestors. So I put um, my Book of Shadows deck up on my tarot shelf here because it reminded me of the ancestors and the ancestors that I have anyway seem to like it. Kind of creepy faces and seemed appropriate for Samhain. <laughs> all right, so we are going to start on the right hand side. Oh, actually, all right, hold on. I have to show you my little shelf over here, <sighs> which this is terrible. Oh, I didn't turn this on. Hold on. I have to turn it on. Ready? So first, I wonder what will happen when the witch comes back. Something bad could happen when the witch comes back. It might be something scary or extraordinary. We'll be very wary when the witch comes back. A break at the door. I think the witch is back. I'm breaking up the floor. Oh, yes, the witch is back. I've got a funny notion. Well, why is there a potion? It's way too much emotion. The witch is back. No. <laughs> And then, this is my other witch that, um, what is his name? The famous designer designed her. I'm trying to remember what the hell his name is. Isaac Mizrati. She's pretty cool. And my little tree end that my son got me for my birthday. And then... I loved a little Halloween shelf. Oh, and then I did my table up with my little scullies here. And my Halloween plate kind of holds my glasses and pen and, you know, stuff I need. All right, so we have our little witch, which uh, I, I hope tomorrow, maybe tonight, depends on how tired I am after our live here, um, I'll upload uh, the contest, the new contest to name her. Uh, so, we start with uh, this water here is storm water, and I have it in a Kraken Black Spiced Rum bottle. The ancestors like uh, storm water as we get closer to Samhain anyway. Um, then, we have all along the front here are the offering dishes. And I'll tell you... The first one, that is um, Ceremony Salt and Rosemary. So that is an offering. These people are my husband's parents who are both gone. My Uncle Ed, my Aunt Halda, and this is homemade black salt, which is, I'll have to give you the recipe, uh, how to make your own homemade black salt. This offering is a cicada shell, and that is to symbolize, you know, cicadas go underground for seven years, and then they uh, rise up for a season, and then they leave their shells. So that is the symbol of the eternal wheel that is life and death. 
this uh, candle here is uh, that is to honor uh, Joey's brother the twin son that I lost when I was pregnant for Jojo this is wormwood in there is uh, some of the ashes of our dog Katie and um, some of the hair of the dog that I just had to put down a couple weeks ago that I did a video about. The acorn, and of course the acorn symbolizes being in the seed, and then it grows into a tree. My grandfather's rosary is in there. This is my Uncle Edgy, who is gone. This is my mother's husband, Larry, who is gone. These two are my grandparents. My grandmother cooking in this kitchen. That's how I remember her best. <laughs> and my grandfather with my oldest son. I love them. And then this is uh, homemade tobacco. Uh, ancestors, uh, tobacco is a very good um, offering for uh, those who have passed over and this tobacco is hand-picked and I hand-dried it and uh, you know ground it myself so every year I do a, a little offering of tobacco of course we have the lady and husband and wife here If I can get back far enough to see the whole thing here. So there is my ancestor altar for this season. Yay! Now that I spent hours on this room, <laughs> I have to get ready for our live video here. So I will see you guys soon.